In less than two weeks, the state of emergency that Virginia has been under since the pandemic began will expire, and that means the rules will change when it comes to wearing a mask. Our Cameron Thompson is live to explain what those changes are and why not everyone is ready to take those masks off yet. Cam? Yeah, and Candace, when that state of emergency expires, an anti-mask law in Virginia goes back into full effect. And Governor Northam, though, selling, telling people who still need or want to wear these masks because of the pandemic should not feel uh, any concern from the law enforcement and expects lawmakers to make some permanent fixes to this in a few months. On the streets of Carytown Friday, you can still catch glimpses of mask wearers among the crowds, regardless of their vaccination status. We want to respect the businesses when they're asking for them, but it's also for protection. For ourselves and, and other people as well. Until COVID is canceled, like literally over, no more hearing about it, and then masks are going to continue to be worn. In Virginia, masks are only required or recommended in some circumstances because of COVID. But come June 30th, some legal protections regarding mask wearing disappear when Governor Ralph Northam will allow the state of emergency to expire. Our numbers are down, our vaccination rates are up, so it's really no need in continuing to be in a state of emergency. Virginia code bans people from wearing face coverings with intent to conceal their identity, put in place because of groups like the KKK, but has exceptions like during states of emergency. Northam says he's telling law enforcement when it expires, they should not harass or arrest people for wearing a mask. If they feel the need or still need to wear a mask because of not being vaccinated, uh, that we, that's certainly going to be allowable. Local agencies tell CBS 6 their officers are being told to follow common sense on the issue. Stone says it has the potential to be abused, but hopes it won't be. Wearing a mask in the post-COVID world, uh, you know, generally you're doing it for protection, not for not to conceal your identity. Stone says it's a law that should be changed to fit with the times, something those in Carytown agree with. So that people who do want to wear masks and feel more comfortable wearing masks based regardless of their vaccination status have that option to do so without any concern of any legal ramifications of that. Now, for that law to change, we'll take action from the General Assembly, and the governor says he expects the lawmakers to do that when they convene later this summer for a special session to allocate the funds for Virginia from the American Rescue Plan.